Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I'm coming at you with, as you can see, a Sensei um, product haul. And, okay, where do we begin? Well, you guys remember not too long ago, I was addicted to Sensei until something happened with the customer service. Now, I did many videos on Sensei ranting and raving how wonderful their products is. But what I experienced, what I experienced with the actual customer service, not a representative of the company, a distributor that is, but it was because of how I was handled once I called the 1-800 number, the customer service number. And when that happened, it turned me totally off of Sensei. Yes, the products are wonderful, but customer service is part of the branding process and part of the business aspect of buying and purchasing. And when the issue happened or arose, it really um, turned me away from Sensei, in a sense. Now, even after I told you guys about what happened and how it was handled with the customer service reps and things like that, and it wasn't just customer service because I know that some individuals, you know, may don't like their job or they may be, you know, a little lax that day. I even went above them and talked to the managers of the customer service reps and still got nowhere. Still, I wasn't handled properly. So, I discussed that with you guys. But in the same breath, I said, Sensei products are absolutely flawless. They are. I didn't get paid to say that. I'm not getting paid to say it now. Customer service sucks. Products, A1. Now, since then, I've tried several different items. Uh, one of my subscribers actually make her own products, and she definitely gives Sensei a run for her money. Um, I believe her channel name is Home Treasures, and she still, even almost three years later of me being on YouTube, she still is a follower of mine. And her products are A1, plus they're homemade, plus she's the one that's doing it, and plus her customer service is superb. So um, I will link her page, channel page underneath of this video in the description box. And um, you can feel free to purchase items from her. But if you want products that are up there with Sensei, she definitely is one of them. Um, I did want to share, um, because even though I had an issue with the actual customer service, I did want to share um, that I still use Sensei. Um, I still love Sensei products. I do. Um, I've tried many other products. I've tried the Walmart brand and, you know, I did a video on uh, Walmart brand. I believe the title was titled that Walmart brand versus Sensei. Um, and I did my own personal review. Uh, we have to understand that reviews are uh, one's opinion. Um, it's not an opinion of the masses. Therefore, you know, it's no right or wrong. Um, it's just basically based on the vloggers or the YouTubers' personal opinion of a product, okay? So for me, for me, Sensei did outlast um, the Walmart brand as far as its potency, um, as far as the coverage, as far as square footage, it would scent the whole entire home or the whole floor of the home or whatever. I prefer Sensei. Again, don't prefer their customer service, but the products are superb. Um, I, I wish I wasn't handled that way because Sensei truly, I am truly addicted to Sensei products. I really am. I've always been addicted to them and I still am. Um, in fact, when I was addicted to them, uh, and that was over a year ago, you guys, don't laugh at me. That was over a year ago. When I was addicted to them, I bought so much that even now, a year and a half later, I still have a huge box of Sensei. This is why I was so peed off when the customer service treated me the way they did because I truly, truly would have been a Sensei fan for life. I am the type of customer that they definitely want, you know, but, it, you know, it is what it is and... Uh, even though I don't like that phrase uh, because it's, it's a phrase that 
it, it, it seems like you're just so accept, accepting to anything that just comes your way and you just basically are powerless to it. To me, that's what that saying means. But it was fitting in this situation. So, um, But I wanted to share with you guys some of the sense that I have in this video um, and also tell you some of my favorites. Um, I'm also going to share with you and show you one of my Sensei warmers that, of course, goes with my color scheme um, and is black and white. And you know that my uh, master bedroom is a Paris theme, which is a black and white dazmat, as well as some red accents. So I'm going to show you my Sensei warmer, and then I'm going to share with you guys some Yes, I said some. This is some. This is some of my sensei that I have. So, all right, I'm going to pan the camera around so you guys can see it. And that is my sensei warmer right here. Now, one of the things that you uh, want to make note about a warmer um, is that it is candleless. So it is actually lit up or illuminated um, by a light bulb. And the low wattage light bulb is what actually melts the wax. So it's what you consider a wickless candle. Okay. Um, the cubes look like this, and I'll show you. All right. Now, this is, I can see because. I am a Sensei fan. I can tell that this is the cheap brand. This is the Walmart brand. Because Sensei, to me, I'll show you the difference, has a more uh, like creamy. Um, this is like more rigid, a little bit more rigid. And that's just my own personal observation. So I can tell once I take a brick of the uh, off-brand Sensei or the store brand, Walmart brand, or whatever Sensei, versus the original Sensei, I can tell the difference in the block. All right, so I'm gonna put a scent in here because I just cleaned out the other one. Um, if you wanna know how long it actually lasts, um, the real Sensei, I would say, because I burn mine 24 hours. Now the average person doesn't burn theirs 24 hours, but I do. Um, because I like to have the scent even when I go to the bathroom and stuff at night. I just like the scent to be consistent and constant in my home. Um, as far as how long it lasts, if you burn it 24 hours, I would say about... I change mine once a week. Now, people still can smell it, but you know how when you're still or constantly in a space, you can you get immune to almost the scent? You can smell it like every now and then, but as far as to smell it constantly you can't smell it because you're constantly in that spot or in that space so that's what I found with the uh, sensei it lasts about a week when you're constantly burning it 24 hours so if you're using it like the average person of course it'll last longer um, as far as square footage um, I have a burner in every room um, but a lot of people don't like to do that because burners from Sensei cost about $40 for the full size burners like this. And, um, you know, it can get quite expensive if you're buying a burner for every room. But when I was addicted to Sensei, I did have a burner for, uh, bought a burner for every room. So mine lasts, of course, like I said, um, this is in my master bedroom. Um, and I put this one on my vanity. So it definitely does the entire room. And if I leave the door open, it'll do the entire floor um, but again I have them in every room so um, so I tackled the square footage um, it can do an entire floor uh, I would say probably approximately about 300 square feet total max uh, I've tackled uh, how long they'll last and if you use it consistently um, or constantly it'll last you for like a, like I said a week um, as far as price I'm going to show you this is just some of my sensei as I stated and this is a deep wide box as you can see um, I'm gonna go ahead and pan the camera around to me now you guys now as far as the price um, the price of the sensei this is bluebird cheesecake 
The price of the Sensei for a block this this uh this size I believe is about six dollars for each. Um, yeah, and you get specials where you can get um I think it's like one second, you guys. You can get specials where it's about um you know you get like a group of six for one low price like thirty dollars or whatever like that. So it's basically getting one free if you get it in a group. Um, I don't know any sensei reps, so if you if it's any sensei reps out there that want to feel free to place your information underneath this video as far as attaching a video and or putting your information in the comment box, that'll be great. That's up to you guys. Um, but yeah, this one is one of my favorites. This is called Haluka Hula, and it is so mind-blowing delicious, you guys. It is just dreamy. Now I'm going to take a brick out so you guys can see the difference. To me, it's just a creamier consistency. The touch is different. Um, again, the off-brand uh, Sensei or the off-brand store-bought um, Better Home and Gardens. Um, I think it's some other brands that's at Walmart. It's just a little bit more rigid. As you can see, one of these just now fell out because it's that it's that creamy if you could tell the difference. This one is the off-brand or the store-bought and this is the original Sensei Wickless Candle Bricks. But it's just a more creamier consistency to me. And it's just it's just more, um, like I said, it's, the word I can only use is it's creamy. It's creamy this one does smell, it smells divine. It does smell good, um, but it just doesn't, it's not as potent and lasts as long as the Sensei. That's all. Um, that's, so really I don't have any complaints. It's just, it's just, Sensei is just really like up there. I love Sensei. I just do. Um, so I'm going to burn, I think I'm going to burn this in my warmer. So I've taken up enough of your time. Um, I was going to initially just go over some of them and I wasn't able to do so because I don't want to take up more of your time. But I just wanted to get my views on Sensei even after the issue that I had a year ago with Sensei the product. Um, I wanted to tell you guys the difference. I wanted to tell you guys how the details that you really don't hear about. How much square footage? How much does it cost? Um, you know, uh, how long does it last if you use it constantly? And this one is happy birthday. It smells just like birthday cake. It's just so, so, so good, you guys. But I just love them. I do. I wish I wasn't handled the way I was, but hey, it is what it is. So I thank you all for riding with me. I hope that this has helped you in some way, shape, or form. And it also giving you um, some insight on what I think of them now um, and how I like the product or don't like the product even now. So I hope you thumbs up, you guys. Make sure you do so because it is important when we're looking at the big grand scheme of things on YouTube. So for my riders, make sure you thumbs up this video and all videos that you like. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so that you can be first in line to get all of the videos that we have to offer here at Big Cuts 52. I thank you all for riding with me. Again, any Sensei representatives out there, make sure you place your information below. Um, in the comment section, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for riding, and be blessed. Bye, you're riding.